every time he went in the ring, he wanted to do his best, you know, every single time. He never, ever wanted to let me down. It was New Year's Eve and we were in Australia and, um, and then he gave a toast and said, congratulations for your new horse. And I, I didn't even know what horse he was talking about. And I said, what are you talking about? And um, he said, yeah, no, we've just bought Ito. And uh, I was in shock. And, you know, I, I hadn't tried it. And I mean, I wasn't worried about it, though, because I'd, I'd seen the horse a lot, you know, and but we just arrived in Sydney and I just wanted to go straight back. <laughs> I never had the feeling with Ito that he didn't have the scope or he was too small when I was on him because he, he has a lot of presence, you know, and he holds himself up um, and he has a, um, you know, he's, he's got a fantastic balance and, um, and a massive stride and a big heart and a, and a great mind and um, he could do everything. I had a great feeling from the moment, of, you know, I was there with him in the stable and the first time I rode him, it just felt like clockwork. He just looks for the jumps. He just, he never has a backward moment, the horse, never. You know, and, and he, um, he just always wants to do his best. You know, and I, in the whole career that I had him, I, I, I almost <laughs> fell off him, but I never, never fell off him, never had any, you know, mishaps or anything happen. So, yeah, always gave me the world of confidence. Winning in Falkensvard, um, in 2009, probably just because I was against, you know, some of the best horses in the world, Shutterfly, Hicks said at the time, and, and I won, and, and, and I won it easy, you know, it didn't seem hard, and it didn't seem like I had to go like a bat out of hell, and, um, and it just, everything just came so natural. Everything comes to an end, and, you know, you don't want to put him in a position where he's not going to be at the best, you know, and I just felt that I owed it to that horse, you know. I mean, I probably could have maybe done another five or six shows out of him, but I just didn't want him to go like this, you know. I wanted him to finish on a good note, and, um, and I think that's horsemanship. I think that's management. Um, that's being a professional. That's understanding your horse and knowing when that's it, time's up. Um, yesterday I spoke to Meredith, and, and, and she said the same thing, you know, with, with Shutterfly. And, you know, knowing your horse is the most important thing and, and, and having that that feeling when you're on your horse and the horse trusting you and the instinct there and and that's something that that you know I really connected with him and, and I never said to Jan, I never want to put him through a, a moment that's gonna to be tough for him, you know. So um, you know, I don't wanna go around and jump small classes and try to win these classes. It doesn't prove anything for the horse. He's, He's proved everything he can. He's done the best he can at, at the highest level ever in sport. He's done two Olympics and World Championships, which not many horses get to do in a lifetime, and um, won won a lot of lot of Grand Prix, a lot of money, given so much pleasure to everybody that um, it would be a shame to go out on a on a bad note. If he could talk, yeah, I mean. He'd probably say, can we just keep going? <laughs> I don't want to stop now, you know, because he loves showing.